South Australia leads the world when it comes to solar energy. And SA Power Networks wants even more South Australians to be able to share in the benefits of solar. In fact, our goal is to double the amount of solar we can support on our network by 2025. The rapid growth of solar has created challenges. Our network was built long before solar was even an option. Now, when lots of solar energy enters the network at once and there's low energy demand, some parts can become overloaded. Inverters can trip off or ramp down due to voltage issues, and in some areas, substations are overloaded with solar energy, which can create the potential for local outages or a wider blackout. We've been working with the solar industry and others to develop solutions that are cost-effective. We've already put several initiatives in place, like upgraded voltage management in substations that supply most of our customers. This has given us the breathing space to develop and implement an innovative solution, flexible exports. Currently, solar customers are able to export the excess energy they create back into the network with a limit of five kilowatts per phase. But to support more solar, we're going to have to manage exports in a better way. For new solar customers, we are planning to introduce either a smart new flexible exports option or a flat 1.5 kilowatt limit. The flexible exports option will give customers an export limit up to 10 kilowatts per phase subject to available network capacity in their area throughout the day. However, when there's too much solar on the network, exports will be automatically adjusted so the network doesn't overload. Flexible export limits are a smart alternative to imposing lower fixed export limits in overloaded areas. Building on the success we've seen with the Flexible Exports trial, we plan to make flexible exports available to more customers from July 2023 across 2024. These customers in Flexible Exports eligible area can choose to participate in the Flexible Export program or select a lower fixed limit of 1.5 kilowatt per phase all year round. For everyone else, there will be no change to their current limit of 5 kilowatts per phase. You can check which customers will be offered flexible exports by looking up their NMI on our SEG application form, or simply type in their address in our Flexible Exports Eligibility Checker. We recommend you do this before speaking to customers so you can talk to them about the two options. If your customer chooses flexible exports, they'll only be able to use selected smart solar systems compatible with flexible exports. These will be listed on the SEG application form. If they choose fixed exports, they'll need an approved export limiting device or configuration for their inverter. Flexible exports means we can better support the growth of solar and maintain a safe, reliable and affordable electricity supply, all while empowering South Australia to achieve its renewable energy goals. The flexible exports option is also compliant with the SA government's new Smarter Homes regulations. But most importantly, it gives you a better option for your customers who want to connect solar in overloaded network areas. Learn more about flexible exports and the impact of DER on our network in South Australia by visiting our website and registering for updates.